Hi guys, today I'm going to uh, show you how to set up a tag family for all your different elements, uh, whether it be detail items or model items, so that your whole model is consistently annotated. Right guys, we're back in the model now. Um, what I'm wanting to show you here is a uh, little call out I've got from uh, one of the models that I'm doing. Um, as you can see, I have the display model set at half tone. So everything that is grayed out is part of the model. Everything else that is not is a detail item. So plasterboard, exterior fibro, um, the framing, the insulation, and the rear, everything else is a detail item. So if I want to tag these at the moment with the tags that come straight out of the box, um, I'll show you what you get. So if I use the uh, sh keyboard shortcut, which is TG, come down here and I can tag my detail items, my floor, and also my wall. Now, as you can see, all the tags are different out of the box. So this works for you that's good but if it doesn't um, I'm going to show you how to keep everything consistent between all tags all elements um, so that you get a nice neat job so to begin with um, what I'm going to do is delete these and open up a new family type so we go new family what we want is from the annotations folder we want generic tag. So first things we do, delete this red text, we don't need it. And we go up and we set our category for this tag. So this tag is going to be a detail item, so we'll set it as a detail item tag. Definitely need to do that, otherwise it will not tag your detail items. Next thing we're going to do is create a label. Um, so if we click label here, It'll open up the label dialog box and we can add our labels. So we'll start with type comments first, the first line and comments on the second line. We leave wrap between parameters unchecked and same with break. We press apply and OK. So now what we want to do is change our label to whatever text uh, you want. So for me, I like to have uh, two mil Franklin Gothic red. So two Gothic red. So change my color to red. I always have my tags transparent. 99% um, of the time, I change my leader offset to zero. Change the type to Franklin Gothic and the size to 2 mil and press OK. So now I want to set my horizontal alignment to the left and reposition my tag to about there. Maybe a little bit closer to that line. Okay, um, you also need to set how far it is before you want your text to wrap. So oh, I think about there is good for me. Um, and if you, this is quite important because the rest of your, all your labels are going to be exactly the same. So this is a, a very important part is to get that, that right where you want it. Now, next thing we're going to do is save this. Save as family. I'm going to go under my annotations, under my tags, detail item tag, and this is what I call my tags. I always have my initials, what the tag is, detail item tag, and how it is, how it gets its information. So type comments and comments, and what it actually looks like. It's two mil red. Hit options, change that to one, maximum backup, press OK, and then save. And we're all good. So now we can load this back into the project. 
Okay, now that we've got our new detail item tag loaded into our model, we can uh, start tagging uh, all our detail items. So the easiest way to do that is with the control or the keyboard shortcut, which is TG. Um, otherwise, we go up to the annotate tab, annotate tab, and press tag by category. We'll just go in and just double check that we have our tag loaded in straight up. Great. Okay, so the first time you tag something, let's zoom in, you tag won't have a uh, arrow head, so we need to select the tab, have the tag, and nominate an arrow head for it, which I will do a fill dot, press OK, and as you can see, it's out of that dot. So this tag has got its information from the detail item itself. If we click on the detail item and go into edit it, we can see in the type comments we have the information regarding that uh, element. So every time I build a new element, uh, a new detail item, sorry, um, I add this information. And this isn't just for detail items, this can be for anything. Um, this can be for floors or walls or whatever you want, roofs, it's all, uh, all the same. Um, every element in Revit has a types comment uh, area under the identity data. So these tags are good for everything. So if we jump out of here, um, I can add more information to this tag if I want to. Um, to simply to do this, we simply just click on the detail item. We come over here to comments, and then we add the extra information we need, and then it just populates the rest of that tag. So that's um, a great easy way to uh, to de or to tag your items so that they're consistent throughout the whole model. Um, so now we will just go through and uh, <clears throat> tag a few more items on here just to show you how quick and easy it is. So that's pretty pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, every time you take these items throughout the whole job, they're going to be uh, consistently the same because of the information that's located into the in the type comments. Um, so now, if we want to tag uh, some of our model elements, such as a floor or a wall, um, what we need to do is make ourselves some new tags for that, and that's quite simple. Um, all we need to do is um, click on our tag that we've got here for detail items, go to edit family and simply change the family category. So it's set to detail item for detail items but now we're going to change it to say floor, a floor tag. So we change that to floor tag and then we simply resave it. So save as family Go into annotation tags. Uh, we do floor. So all I need to do here is I can leave most of the name. I just need to change part of it. Change the options to one. Press OK and press save. So now we've got that item as a floor tag as well. So I'll load that into my project and I'll go back to my tag here and I'll change the category again. This time I'm going to make a wall tag. Simple. So that's changed to wall and all I have to do is save it again. So save as a new family. Go up to my wall tags. Change that from floor now to wall. Make sure it's on one. Save. OK, and load and close into our project. So now that we're back in our project, we want to hit the shortcut TG to tag our floors and also our walls. 
Now both of these will need leader heads. So fill dot for that one and fill dot for this one. You will only have to do this the first time you use that tag. Great, so that's it. Looking good, looking consistent. Um, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, would you please subscribe and maybe hit the notifications bell so that next time I uh, produce a, a video, um, you get uh, a little email letting you know that it's there. Um, hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.